All right. It is Monday, December 3rd, 2018 at 12.06 p.m. I'm doing a video right now on the Chupacabras. The Chupacabra, this mythical creature that was sighted first in Puerto Rico and described to look like a gray alien with spikes going down its back and said to suck chickens and goats and dry them up of any blood and leave them without any blood and only small puncture holes is what we're covering right now. Alright, the chupacabra. Let's look at the definition of chupacabra. Or the chupacabras, literally known as the goat sucker, from chupar or to suck and cabra, which means goat. So it is a goat sucker. The legendary creature in folklore in parts of the Americas, which is first purported sightings reported in Puerto Rico. The name comes from the animal reported uh, habit of attacking and drinking the blood of livestock, including goats. Physical descriptions of the creature vary. It is reportedly a heavy creature the size of a small bear with a row of spines reaching from the neck to the base of the tail. Eyewitness uh, sightings have been claimed in Puerto Rico that have been reported as far as north as Maine and as far south as Chile and have been spotted outside of the Americas in countries like Russia and the Philippines. But many of the reports have been disregarded and uncorroborated or lacking evidence. Sighting in northern Mexico and southern United States have been verified as can canids uh, uh, afflicted by mange. According to biologists and wildlife management officials, the chupacabra is an urban legend. Alright, so there's many descriptions of the chupacabra, but mainly the chupacabra um, that I know of when it first started, I think in the 1996-90s area, it looked kind of like this. It had spikes going down its back. Um, it had fangs. It had big red eyes. Uh, this is usually what the Chupacabras is described as. Lately, the Chupacabras has been... Uh, described as a dog that has like mange and isn't looking too good and um is hairy like lacking hair this is what lately has been uh, coming out as what chupacabras have been reported as in the in the california mexico area so there's two different types of chupacabra here that uh i've been known uh oh you know, in history about. This is one of the first pictures of what Chupacabra looked like in Puerto Rico. You see here with the spikes going down its back looking like a gray alien with uh, three toes and three fingers on the hands. Alright, let's take a look at some Chupacabra stories. These are reports, a timeline of reports. In the mid-70s, Rio Grande Valley, South Texas, sighting of what might have been a condor linked to a rash of mutilated cattle, blood re was removed to the last drop. In the early 70s, Brownsville, Texas, rancher finds a bull dead, no blood, and no tracks. In 1994, Puerto Rico, four or six little greys found under a bed and chased out uh, of the house with a broom, reported by Joyce Murphy. In March 11, 1995, Orocovis, eight sheep found dead. Animals had three strange marks on puncture holes in their chest and were described as completely drained of blood. In August 1995, Canavanas, Puerto Rico, Chupacaba blamed for the death of around 150 animals. Sunday, November 19, 1995, Puerto Rico. The Chupacabras is blamed for the death of dozens of turkeys, rabbits, goats, cats, dogs, and even horses and cows. Said to have ripped op open the bedroom window of a house in the northern central of Caguas, destroyed a stuffed teddy bear, and left a puddle of slime and pieces of rancid white meat on the windowsill. It had hairy arms and huge red eyes. In another attack, it came around 7 a.m., it just showed up, and poof, it vanished. On November 19, 1995, 35 times in 3 months, Canovas, Puerto Rico, residents saw it one afternoon and it was, it had its back 
backyard when it came out of the bush and bit the family dog. I think it belongs to the monkey family, but it isn't a monkey exactly, he said. It ran like a monkey and was about four feet tall and did not have a tail. On December 7th, near Guanaca, Puerto Rico, unusual bloodless deaths of chickens and cows. And December 14th, in Naguabo, on the east coast of Puerto Rico, several caged birds and rabbits were found dead, with holes in the neck area without a drop of blood. Other rabbits had disappeared near rabbit cage with a track with a three-toed claw. All right. On, fr on Friday, 15th of December, 1995, Puerto Rico, in one year, is thought to be responsible for at least a thousand killings of goats, sheep, cattle, chickens, and other animals. There are many eyewitness accounts. The creature is four to six feet tall, walks upright, is not humanoid, has large oval alien-type eyes. In the 18th of December, 1995, in Puerto Rico, animals died as a result of a single puncture mark found on some part of the body, which apparently drained them of blood. One photo shows a Siamese cat with a puncture mark throughout through its skull. December 18, 1995, Puerto Rico. Local tribe of Vocero echoed the possibility that giant vampire bats had infiltrated the island in cargo shipments proceeding from South America. Normal-sized bats are fairly common in the Caribbean. Thursday, December 23rd, a.m., near Guanaca, Puerto Rico. 44-year-old Osvaldo Claudio Rosado was washing a car. He was grabbed from behind. He tried to fight off the intruder and saw a black-haired gorilla about five feet tall, which ran off. Rosado had cuts in his abdomen, possibly torn fingernails or claws. All right, Thursday, December 21st, 1995. In Klamath Falls, pregnant heifer dead with her right ear gone, hide cut from her face, tongue cut lengthwise along the top of the teeth, four teeth removed, leaving black circles in the surface of the udder, and the rectum and the uh, private parts cut out near the uh, neat keyhole. No blood at any of the ex 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 excisions are on the ground. Tuesday 26, early morning hours, Puerto Rico, Ter Tercilia Baja region. Women heard strange noises in her house and dog barking. Siamese cat found dead with the genitals removed. Two guinea hens with their throats slit. Chickens with perforations. And four ducks and four rabbits dead in the cages. And on Tuesday, December 26, 1995, Puerto Rico, San German, 11 goats found dead. So you see here, these are all a lot of reports of having to do with the Chupacabra and the timeline. A lot of blood draining, animals with holes, and uh, the description of the description of a gray alien or a creature that looks like a gray alien with spikes down its back. Let's take a look here. This is one of the drawings of what the Chupacabra looked like in one of the re reports. You see here large eyes and it looks like a hairy body. Almost like wing bats. Uh, bat wings. Alright, let's take a look here. Uh, the creature observed. Many of the killings are associated with strange creatures we call anomalous biological entities, or ABEs. It is reportedly a cross between a creature known as a great alien humanoid, mainly because of the shape of its head and eyes, with most witnesses described as the body of a bipedal erect dinosaur, with no tail. Its head is oval in shape and has an elongated jaw. Two elongated red eyes have been reported, together with small holes in the nostril area, a small slit-like mouth with fang-type teeth protruding upwards and downwards from the jaw. Other witnesses have seen small pointed ears, but this feature has not been seen by other witnesses. It appears to have strong coarse hair all over its body, and whilst most observers claim the hair is black, it has remarkable ability to change colors at will, almost like a chameleon. In the dark, it will change colors from black to deep brown color. In sunlit areas surrounded by vegeta vegetation, it changes to green, green, gray, light brown, or beige. 
The creature has two small arms with three finger claws hand and two strong hind legs, again with three claws. It appears to be able to run quickly and leap over trees. Some witnesses alert over 20 feet in a single bound. According to many observations, the creature's legs look almost reptilian or goat-like. It has quill-like appendages running down from its back, which has been seen by fleshy membranes that change color from blue to green to red to purple. A number of witnesses claim the creature flops at these quills at incredible speed, its tail and appendages allowing it to actually fly. The tail apparently is used to guide its flight, only controlled mainly by the winds, occasionally seen to flap. Alright, let's look now at this uh, account of the first person who reported it, uh, a good description in Puerto Rico of the Chupacabra. A woman named Madeline Tolentino said she saw the beast through a picture window outside her house in Canovanas, Puerto Rico during the second week of August 1995. In a 1996 interview, Tolentino said the bipino animal had dark gray or black eyes that were damp and protruding, running up to its temple and spreading to its size, like typical alien eyes. Its height was about four feet, more or less. At any time, it was walking like a human on both legs. Its arms were drawn back in an attack position, as though it were a TV monster. She said it had three long skinny fingers, and its arms were also very long. Its hair was rather short and close to its body, rather well combed, in fact. It had some strange round things on its torso, on the region seemed ashen, as if something had burned it there. The burn mark revealed prankish purplish skin as the top layer had fallen off. The creature's leg, Torrentino said, were very long and skinny, and were, uh, you could see three separate toes, she said. They were similar to goose feet and it had something like webbing between its toes. Tolentino's curiosity about the chupacabra extended to its genitals. I even got down to the floor to see if it had genitals. It had nothing at all. It was plain and sealed. She also noted a row of distinctive spikes on its back. The creature turned away and ran to the road and leaped off into tall grass in a neighboring vacant lot. Despite being such a significant eyewitness, Tolentino dropped from sight and had only been interviewed once or twice since 1995. Here you see a picture of Tolentino being interviewed. And this was the first clear sighting of what the Chupacabra looked like. So this is it for right now um, for this video. Thank you for stopping by and uh, coming to listen to these stories of Chupacabra. I might do other videos on other cryptids, uh, maybe the Wolfman, or see if um, uh, there's any other stories that I might uh, head out and make videos on. Thank you so much for stopping by and listening to uh, the stories of the Chupacabra. Alright guys, God bless. See you next time.